Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here on this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. Today's video is going to be a quick and easy one, so we're going to jump straight into it. Long story short, a few days ago I was working on my new 3D brush bundle which has over 100 brushes and I don't know about you, but although Procreate is great, I feel like the organization of the brush library is not necessarily the best and I'm not a fan of scrolling through super long brush lists that are just not organized. And I finally realized that I could just create set dividers like this. Now I don't know if this has been done before, I don't want to take all the credit, I haven't seen it done before, but I want to show you how you can do it in this video, it's really super easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch, but I'm also going to include the templates that I made for myself, so you can download them, they will be linked in the description below, and they're totally free, of course. So the first thing we're going to do is just creating a square canvas. So you can go back in the gallery, tapping on the plus and selecting the square option. So it's going to be the first one. Sorry, in my case, it's in French, but the exact dimensions don't really matter. Just make sure it's a square and you'll be fine. And then within that square, you have two options. You can either write the text yourself or you could add text and just type. So if you want to add text and type, you're going to go in the wrench icon menu here at the top. Then you're going to go in the add sub menu and type add text. So this is where you're going to write whichever set divider you have. In my case, I'm just going to write brush label. And if you want to change the font, you can just select everything by double tapping on the text and tapping here on the font selector, which is going to open up the kind of font editing menu. And you can then just change the font. Let's go with Helvetica. You can change the size and everything. So for now, just focus on picking the font that you want and then click done. So once you have your text, go ahead and select the arrow tool and we're going to move it so it's in the lower half of your canvas. So just moving it here and we're also going to make it bigger so that the text reaches the sides almost of the canvas. It really does need to be super precise. You're going to see it's going to be a game of back and forth if you're starting from scratch, but something a little bit like this. So again, yeah, in the lower half and pretty big text. So with that, we can go back in the wrench icon menu here. Still in the add sub menu, you're going to select copy canvas. Now all we have left to do is create the actual set divider and it's pretty easy. You're going to go in the brush menu and then whichever pack you want to add your set divider in, you're going to tap on the plus sign right here. Now there are two things that you absolutely need to do for this to work. The first one is importing the text. So you're going to go in the shape menu here, clicking edit at the top import right here and then you're going to tap paste now there's one other thing you need to do and that's to have the background be black and the text be white super easy though you just take two fingers and then tap on the brush and it's going to invert the colors so once you have that go ahead and tap done here at the top and you're going to see it's going to create this crazy shape don't worry about it the other thing that is super important to do though is going in the properties here at the bottom and selecting hues stamp preview now it's not going to change anything in the preview here, but it's going to change the preview in your brush list. You're also going to go ahead and change in the brush behavior, the maximum size to maximum, and then you're going to tap done. So if you've done it right, you should see your text. It's probably going to be too big, but that's an easy fix. You can just tap on the brush again and then go back and play with the preview size. Maybe putting it at 20 this time tapping done and just kind of going back and forth and playing with that size and you can also play with the positioning so mine is a little bit too low I'm just going to use the arrow to lift it up a little bit and then just repeating the steps so going back in the wrench icon menu copy canvas going back in the brush tapping on the brush shape edit import paste <laughs> done and done again and now we can see it's a bit higher so if you're starting from scratch as you can see there's going to be some back and forth before you can create your template so if you're not in the mood for that you can just download mine again in the description below it's totally free but once you do have a template that works for your set divider it's really easy to just duplicate it and then reuse that you can duplicate your brush and then change the text so here tapping on edit text write whatever you want um, i'm just going to go with brush 2 then copying the canvas again and just repeating the steps. So going on this new brush, shape, edit, import, paste, done, done. Oh, and if you want to change the actual name of the set divider like that, you can go on the brush and that's going to be in about this brush, the bottom section. 
you can just rename it here. I like to just have mine be set divider and then just the name of the subset, which in my case, I don't know, I wrote, <laughs> I wrote brush label, which doesn't make sense, but whatever, you get the idea. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more tricks on how to organize your Procreate, I highly recommend you check out this video in which I'm going to show you how to create really nice, beautiful stacks in your Procreate gallery. But before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos I post every Tuesday and Saturday. Then click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.